up. Anybody's interested in the measurement? It's roughly about three feet long, and it's only five and a half inches wide. Very narrow, but enough to put a saw in, and to be able to put, you know, a tape measure, a plumb bob, a small level, a square, pencils, and a few other hand tools that you would normally have in a little toolbox. Uh, nothing special, like I said, just kind of burned up some time. But all these are rabbited, so halfway, three-quarter inch. All this uh, wood is a three-quarter inch. The, and then I used um, the force and the bits to cut out the hole for where the dowel will go. I didn't get real particular the top here where the saw went past. I figured it was not that big a deal since it's not a precision project. Just to kind of give you an idea how it's going to look when it's all together. And it makes for a, night, uh, a neater ends when you do the rabbit. And um, since most of your weight is pulling up on these, it goes down and it'll be tacked and glued into the base so when you're picking it up you're picking the whole thing up and this is just a three quarter inch dowel and I gotta cut it a little bit but if I can get it to stay together so that's uh, roughly what it'll look like and then of course the saw will sit down in here quite nicely. I'll have it down at one end. Um, you might not be able to see down in there, but all you'll be able to fit, you know, like I said, all your standard woodworker's tools will fit in here. I'm probably going to throw some magnets in for some bits that you would use as well, but I might be able to take and tip this. You can kind of see and then the end here. It's got a much more finished look on the end by doing the, the uh, rabbit. So anyway, that's uh, just a quick project we're putting together as it falls apart on me. But now I'm just going to do, uh, you know, I'll glue it up, tack it in place, um, and uh, try to finish her up. Thanks again. I'm just going to run some uh, glue along all these joints. Probably run a little bead on top of here where that's going to sit on there and make it really strong. I'm not going to use a, a lot because I'm going to nail it as well. And let's get the ends glued here. Like I said, this is just kind of a quick project. I was just messing around with some wood I had laying around and get to uh, do something. Let's get out of the house and do something different. Okay, so I got it all glued up and I got some nails in it. I might throw some clamps on it too. Um, just to pull it in really tight while it dries. Um, you can put this in before if you want, but it's a long enough span that you can get it to go. Worst case, you can always run it all the way through. Um, but I know it was a long enough span that I can just go beyond. And uh, you wouldn't be able to do that if it was a short, shorter run. But it is a good snug fit, which is what we want. Up. 
Like I said, I gotta cut the ends off. I might even leave them out and just round them over a little bit. Um, and I'll end up drilling a, a hole either in the top or one of the sides and put a pin a pin in so the dowel stays. Um, and like I said, I'll do some couple little little compartment things inside here. So the saw can sit in and stay protected and some of the other tools. Um, but you know, little pine um, woodworkers toolbox. Like I said, it'll have a spot. I can make a little spot in there for the hammer to stay off the side. It's not really wide, but because it's so long, you'll be able to get pretty much anything you need that you wanted. The only thing I haven't really put my thought in is, is this dowel um, strong enough, fully loaded. If it's not, it's an easy way to fix it. I just get a, a larger dowel, either drill the holes out larger or um, turn them down on the lathe. I can turn down the ends of the dowel so they fit in these holes and then have a larger dowel here. But it might be all right. I mean, it's, it's pretty strong. I mean, it's bending a little bit, but I'm holding down with a lot of force. So, but there it is, not completed. But it's just a very simple, easy project you can do to put some wood tools in. It'll be able to hold chisels. Uh, maybe once I get everything all set up here, I'll put a sample of tools in here because this is nothing I'm really going to use. Um, but I'll put a sample of tools in here and get a picture of it so you can kind of see what it looks like with all the tools in it. Anyways, if you like, please like. Um, subscribe to my page. Thanks for stopping by Shane's Main Shop. And if you have any comments, definitely comment. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Okay, well, welcome back. I'm going to just uh, get this on out of the clamps here. It's been overnight. Let's see how it came out. Okay, so as you can see, it's all glued up. And I gotta do some sanding, and then of course I'm gonna do um, some of the divides uh, and stuff on the inside for um, holding some of the tools. So uh, we'll get started on that. Okay, uh, made a few cuts. Cut this cut so it's a little bit shorter than the box, so it's not sticking out. Uh, and then I cut a slot in it for the saw to fit in once it's all glued in there. The saw will be right down in here and that will protect it. Um, I'll have another one up here further in just a minute. So this will go right down in here like this. And we will glue it in place. I don't want to push it all the way down yet because I don't want it to get stuck on me without the glue. But then this will sit right down in there. And it'll protect the saw. We'll have another one up here to keep it plenty secure um, so it doesn't move around. So I'll go ahead and cut another one of these out. We'll be at back in uh, just a second. Uh, okay. Well, welcome back. Um, so as you see, I uh, pretty well got it all together here for the most part. There's a couple things I do different. Um, I think I'll slice a slot in, I'm going to tip this up here, um, in this block going across here, so this can go down in there straight, but it certainly has a lot in it, and um, you know, it's not too heavy at all, this seems to be holding up, um, there is a lot more room in here really, that I can put stuff in here, I'm going to probably make an additional slot so this will slide down in, so uh, it won't be sticking up, but it's really not in the way, um, you know, because you can carry it anywhere in here. There's plenty of room. You can see there's a little bit of give to this handle, but I don't even have it fastened in yet. So once it's fastened in here, that will help some. But again, I can always make a bigger dowel, but I'm not too concerned about it. So there it is. I did um, add a couple extra things since the last video, uh, the last uh, part of this. I uh, put a, a 
a spacer across here to protect this saw from any tools in this compartment hitting the teeth. This one is in here, uh, it's above, it doesn't go down as far as the blades or teeth of this saw, so it's not going to hurt it. I drilled some holes for some pencils, some holes from some screwdrivers over here out of the way, um, and there's still a lot more space that I can add some holes here and it wouldn't be in the way because anything you know, beyond here or beyond here um, is not in the way of carrying it uh, for sure. Uh, you can see there's a lot more room here, maybe in the future. I would um, shrink this middle compartment up a little bit to be able to put a few longer things in here and have not sticking up, but there's all kinds of room. So you can see there's a lot in here. I'm going to actually do a separate video showing all the stuff I have in here so this video doesn't get too long. But again, the basic measurements of it, if anybody's interested in building something similar, I didn't go by anything. This was just kind of winging it with some scrap wood I had laying around. It is roughly six and a half inches wide. The opening in the middle is about five inches wide. The overall length is approximately 36 and a half. And of course the opening is 35 inside. Um, the height from here to the handle is, to the bottom of the handle is about five and a half inches. So there's plenty of room to reach in without uh, hitting your hand on that. The overall height up to the ends here from the, is one foot. So uh, that give you an idea, uh, something to interest in. And there's really no right or wrong way of how you do the compartments in here. I basically put this saw in and put this one so it would stop this from sliding around. That's where this one landed. So the handle would be up against it so the saw would not slide around. Um, but uh, there you have it. I hope you like it. Um, as I said, there's a lot more room in here to put other things, uh, and if you uh, take a look, I'll put a link to a video down here in the corner for um, showing you what's in the box currently now. So, thanks for stopping by Shane's Main Shop. Please like if you like, and of course subscribe, share, and uh, I hope you like this project. Thanks again.